in the United States, apomorphine has been marketed since uh, about 15 years or so. I was involved in the original pivotal studies where it was tested out uh, in much the same fashion that it had been used in Europe, where in the 1980s, it was first introduced. Subcutaneous apomorphine has uh, an onset of effect that in our study led to more than 90% of off episodes being reverted to on. And we found very good tolerability of this medication in most patients when trimethobenzamide was used uh, three times per day in advance of doses. Uh, typically, this is thought to be a four to five hour effect of anti-nausea effect. But what we have discovered uh, over the years, and this has been published as well, is that many, if not most patients, don't need any anti-nausea drug especially trimethobenzamide, for preventing side effects from apomorphine. It's more or less a mandatory plan to use it when patients are first starting out being titrated to find their optimal dose. And certainly some patients will experience side effects even with this drug trimethobenzamide given because uh, it's hard to predict who's very sensitive to the therapy. We use a home care nurse to you do that testing when patients are off in the morning to find out if they find the drug to be tolerable. But unfortunately, it's hard to predict whether someone is going to have a hypotensive episode or faint from the drug or have severe vomiting, uh, even with the lowest dose. So the first experiences of getting started are the uh, diciest. But once a patient has had a uniform set of experiences with the drug, it might be that they can omit the use of trimethobenzamide as well as uh, taking uh, personal responsibility for their own injections. Some patients are having caregivers draw up the syringe and uh, use the drug uh, or, or administer the drug into that patient's arm or belly. But most patients after a while can learn how to do it themselves and it becomes second nature. One of the concerns about apomorphine is, is that of needle phobia. How many patients really want to stick themselves with needles? Well, the diabetes community has, has certainly voted that uh, this becomes just part of your life. And in fact, with the needles that are used for apomorphine injection, they're at the same size range as those used for diabetes. And patients tell me that quite honestly, about half of them are not even felt as needle sticks. So I think that the patient who starts to try this out with a little bit of encouragement from the physician we'll find that this is an acceptable therapy, especially if the benefits of having control over off time can have a huge impact in improving quality of life. And it may take caregivers and people in the support system to be encouragers, to be part of that uh, group of uh, viewpoints that say, try it, see what it can do for you, and then make your decision how much you hate it before the patient says, no way, I would never go there. And this is one of those forms of therapy that I've been quite positive towards because there's so many people who've used this and it's been a game changer for their independence, their self-confidence, their safety going out in the world.